until now, this triangular area under the stairs has just been wasted space. But today I'm gonna to turn that spot into a beautiful and useful recessed bookshelf. Now the first step in any project where you're recessing something into the wall is to find the studs. Trace out the stud pattern and then use that framework to design your bookshelf. Basically what I'm going to do is to create boxes to fit in between the studs and attach those to the studs using screws. Then I'll use trim along the outside edges to hide the seams. The first step is to cut out the drywall for our boxes and I'll do that with a drywall saw like this one. So now we have our openings and can take measurements to draw up the plans for my boxes. I'm making three boxes with adjustable shelving, which will get smaller as they go, to match my descending staircase. You can build your boxes out of plywood and attach them together with screws or nails. Make sure to test fit as you go. You want a decently snug fit, but not too tight. You can always add some shims to make it fit better when you screw things together later. Now that the boxes are built, I can drill holes for the adjustable shelving. Use a piece of pegboard as a guide to drill the holes for your shelf pins. Drill only a quarter inch into your side pieces. I have these shelf pins from Lowe's and that shows me what size drill bit I need to use. Measure your boxes and cut your shelves to the right size and test fit with the shelf pins to make sure they fit correctly. Now's a good time to paint the boxes and shelves. I'm going to paint the sides of my bookshelf white and the back panel to match the rest of the wall. The way you paint and decorate this bookshelf will really change the look of the room, so explore some paint and wallpaper options that fit your space. Put the boxes into place, make sure they're level, and attach them with screws into the studs. Finish it up by adding trim around the outside edges, and you're done. If you enjoyed this project, please check out lowes.com slash howto for more great project ideas. Thanks for joining me.